Well, Bill, let's say that your hair is getting a little bit long or your roots, they need that touch up. Well, there are things that you can and can't do at home when it comes to your hair. I chatted with stylist Joey Figueroa on the do's and don'ts of your quarantine hair guide. Joey, first up, let's talk about bangs. Is this the time to cut our own bangs, dive into that world? Or if you already have bangs, how do you trim them? This is the time to put your shears down. This is not <laughs> a time to see if bangs is a good look on you, only because we've seen those videos online and I love laughing at those, but at the same time, they never go right. They never go the same way. And guess what? We're all closed down, so there's no way to fix those. Mm. But if you do have bangs, what I really recommend doing on trimming them is a cutting in an upward point cut position. Mm -hmm. What it does is soften the look. So when we do go back into the salons, your stylist can blend those a little bit better than a blunt cut. So always kind of point cut if you're gonna do that. And you can always take more off. You can't add them back on. <laughs> Great advice there, and I love that you said put the shears down because, you know, for me, this side of my hair, maybe it's getting a little bit long, and some other people, maybe they miss that trim right before this cutoff. So do you have any tips for trimming your own hair? Yes, this is not the time to experiment with layers either. That's a whole <laughs> different professional service, right? Right. But you do need to trim those ends. What I would do is literally trim the ends. Whatever is the dead, you know, the dead, you know, um, ends off those, um, just a little bit at a time. You can always cut more, you can't add it back, but if you can, but that's extensions. That's a whole different <laughs> ball game. <laughs> okay, not something that we wanna tackle at home. But let's yeah. say the man in our life, maybe our husband, brother, grandfather, they've mm -hmm. got short hair. Can you help them out there? Yes, we got clippers. You can get clippers anywhere. What I really recommend doing is not to really attempt fades or anything. That is, I mean, barbers have that down, right? But um, I would recommend just using a one guard or a two guard um, and really just going all the way up um, on the sides and all the way around, just with one guard. It really gets that bulk off, but we're staying inside. So nobody's really gonna look at your hair. But sometimes it's just cleaning up the around the ears and the neckline. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's enough just to get us by. What do we do about our pesky gray hairs? Guess what? We're supposed to be staying at home. So no one's going to see them anyway. But I know my grayage clients and they're going to run to the store, get box color. And one, it's really hard to match yourself. And two, mm -hmm. that's a whole different story. And I know a lot of your stylists are like, do not do box color because if you do it all the way around, that pigment's really hard to extract. Yeah. And it just makes a mess for us when we get back in the salon. So really just contact your stylist and see what they recommend. I recommend using um, those uh, gray coverage sprays or those powders. They're temporary fixes, but it gets you by until we can see you at the salon. We just don't wanna make more work for us when we get back in there because we're already packed. If you have highlights, what do you do about your roots? There are there are those powdered highlights that you can paint on yourself, but there bleach is a whole different ball game. Mm -hmm. And if you do it at home, one, you're never gonna get to the blonde you want um, because it's not professional grade. And two, if it is, um, you can um, risk breakage. You can, uh, it's a whole different color correction. And maybe that might be a $15 fix, but it's gonna be a $300 fix in the salon. Well, Joey also told us that if you're running low on supplies like shampoo, conditioner, hairspray, just contact your local stylist because lots of times, even if they can't get in this salon, they can get it shipped right to you.